More news from Jammu and Kashmir. Tourism has taken a hit post Pulwama terror attack and the ensuing tensions between India and Pakistan. There have been several cancellations by tour groups, with tourism players seeing no hope of revival this year. Here's a report by our correspondent Ishan Vani from Srinagar. While the rest of India is reeling under a severe heat wave, the weather in the Himalayan state of Jammu and Kashmir is pleasant. But there are no usual tourists on the ground. The famous tourist spots are witnessing thin tourist presence, with many blaming tensions between India and Pakistan as the main reason. The tourist flow has come down drastically, threatening the livelihood of many associated with the industry. According to one estimate, 5 lakh people are directly associated with the tourism industry in the state. The State Tourism Department says that the industry contributes 16% of the state's total GDP. Countries like the United States, the United Kingdom and Australia have updated their travel advisories for the valley, keeping the foreign tourists away too. This is leading to a crisis. With hotels shutting down, staff being laid off and even some tourism players looking for alternative opportunities. The tourism business, which is considered as an important asset of Jammu and Kashmir, is struggling to survive. फरवरी 14 में वो लिथकोर एपिसोड हो गया उससे हमारे जो इनफ्लो है उस पर बहुत असर पड़ गया उसके साथ-साथ आपको पता है कि उसके कुछ दिन के बाद ही फिर जो दो मुल्कों के درمیان थोड़ा सा वो नाजा हो गया जैन जो उसको हम कह रहे थे उस वक्त या जो ऐलान हो गया कि एयरफील्ड बंद रहेंगे उससे भी असर बहुत ज्यादा नेगेटिव हुआ क्योंकि हमारी मेजॉरिटी कैंसिलेशन फरवरी के बाद और मार्च के महीने में हो गई अदरवाइज हमारा 15 जून तक हाउस बोर्ड उसका the state's tourism department is trying to reach out to people in different states of India by organizing road shows and pumping money into advertising. All in the hope that people from these states would head to Kashmir. While it's hot and humid in the rest of India, here in Kashmir Valley, it's raining and the weather is really breezy. Now, to enjoy this particular weather, tourists across the globe and from India would come to Kashmir to enjoy this beauty. But this year around, there are less tourists on the ground. And authorities say that a lot of negativity about Kashmir has gone out after Pulwama attack. And people are fearing the security scenario that's prevalent in Kashmir. But they are sending a message of love that the people from across the India should come and visit Kashmir to enjoy its beauty. With campus and Feroz Ishanwani for Beyond World is One. Political activity in the state of Jammu and Kashmir seems to be gathering, in fact, a pace now with the coming of the new BJP government at the centre. The Election Commission has said that it shall be considering assembly elections in Jammu and Kashmir later this year. This announcement comes, in fact, after Home Minister Amit Shah conducted meetings with officials discussing delimitation in the state. A schedule for polls could be announced after the conclusion of this year's Amarnath Yatra. Remember, Jammu and Kashmir has been under President's rule since 19th of December last year, set to expire on 3rd of July. The President's rule will be extended on proposal by the central government as well later. In the meanwhile, Pakistan's economy is in shambles. In turn, the country's military has decided not to receive an increased allocation under the defense budget this year, much, in fact, to the appreciation of Prime Minister Imran Khan. Now, Imran Khan has lauded the armed forces for voluntary cuts in defense spending despite multiple security challenges. Reports say that the armed forces have also decided to give up some of his development program this time. He has declared that the money saved will be used for the development of tribal areas and Balochistan. Now, earlier, remember, Khan had chaired a meeting to review the preparations for the national budget. 
While Imran Khan welcomed the military's move, Khan himself got the brick bats from the opposition. Pakistan's former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's daughter called out Khan for his incompetence. She tweeted, and I quote here, Now, uh, in fact, uh, Nawaz Sharif asked the Prime Minister cater to all the needs of the armed forces, which included salaried increases plus purchases for new equipment and development and training, which is crucial to their pre preparedness. This is the difference between competence and incompetence that you person personify." Unquote. A Pakistan is in fact facing an economic crisis with high inflation, a crunch of foreign currency reserves and stagnating growth.